Mark Oaten in charge. And play underway. North Sydney running from right to left on your screen for this first half. They enter this match with 18 competition points. As back come the Steelers with Darian Doherty, the first touch. Illawarra sitting on 10 points going into this round 13 clash. And the ball away for Mackay, who's wearing the headband for this match. Unusual look for Brad Mackay. Now the ball with David Walsh. Strong front rower has been an excellent contributor over the past five or six seasons for Illawarra. And now Wayne Richards, they're just working the left side of the park in their first set of six. And again, they go the blind side with Callaway and over the sideline. Well, that's unforgivable. So Caruana comes away. It's a low way to score a try if you have to head it over the line. It was accidental, of course. There's now the ball with Larson on the 30. Steve Roach on the sideline. What's the story on Matt Sears? Yeah, concussion for Matt Sears. Uh, he'll probably, the doctor said he'll probably be back in the second half after he settles down. He goes Brett Dallas. What a luxury it is to have a player with genuine pace in your team, and Brett Dallas. He actually been in there, Brett Dallas, sniffing around. He loves his opportunities. But there's plenty of traffic. He's got the speed to get through the traffic, and you had to feel for Rodwell at fullback. Wouldn't mean too many fullbacks in the world get Brett Dallas in that situation. I still think he's the best winger in the world. If I was looking to pick a world 13, he'd be the first winger chosen in my team. He's been an enormous improver over the last couple of seasons. Of course, was formerly with Canterbury. What a season he's having with the boot. 120 points for the season. On top of 182 last year. Well, he's well on course to break that. This kick five metres in from touch. 21 metres out. And Taylor just bangs over another one. He makes it look so easy. And the Bears have jumped to a 6-0 lead. We'll take a break. Plenty of go-forward men for the Bears in this early part of the match. That time it was Trindle. Now for Fairley. It was his offload that led to the Dallas try. North Sydney inside the Steelers' 20. No penalty for that second tackle as Taylor. Short pass. More taken out of the play by Mackay. That was a ball and all tackle. Perfectly timed. Again, a slow play the ball. Soden away for Larson. Larson helps himself to 10 metres. Walsh is over the top to finish the tackle. Now just five metres out. Right in front of the Steelers' sticks. Soden. Butner, he pushes an inside ball for Fairley. The Steelers defence equal that time. Last tackle for North Sydney. Taylor on the left side of the ruck. It's with Taylor now. He doesn't grub her into the in-goal area. Butner, quick hands. Then away, another try. This time Ben Eichen. Oh, they read that well, the Bears. Two tries in quick time. And it's ten points to nil. Eichen's, uh, his football's improved out of sight in season 96. Hits the gap. Straight and hard these days. He's a wonderful player in the making. Beautiful ball there from Billy Moore as well. One of these players who can get in the back line. Generally, you don't see him pass the football a lot, but on that occasion, took some skill to catch and pass almost in the one motion. And ben Eichen, as we pointed out, I, I believe he's going to be something special in this game. Didn't have a lot to do on that occasion, but he, he did it all with style once again. But beautiful inside work putting him into the hole. But again, five metres in from touch. And look at the kick from Taylor. Just swings it back. Every four-pointer is converted into six. It was on Nigel Roy, who had come in from fullback. Now, that's good play from Billy Moore, breaking from the scrum on the opposite side of the field, ready to take the first hit up. Hall away for Larson. And on defence there from the two Steelers front rowers, Walsh and Doherty. Soden. Away now for Fairley. It was an awkward-looking attempt at the tackle from Rees. Fairley has coughed it up. So the Steelers are with it 30 metres out from the North Sydney line. And Rees is the man who darts from dummy half. So what little Warren can make of this. Callaway. Callaway coming into the action is Paul Carriage. And now onto the 20. Callaway for Reeves. Pushing along for his halfback air. A dummy inside. Picks off McGregor and the gap has opened up for McGregor. And McGregor has scored for Illawarra, which looked a pretty easy try. A pause of some 17 milliseconds, and now he's banged that one over as well. So the kickers are on target, and the Steelers have got back into this match in a real hurry. 12 points to six, we'll take a break. And now for Gary Larson. 
Center field, 32 meters out from the Steelers line. Soden, they go back to the right, Caruana. Feeding on there, good offload from Nigel Roy. And they're now on the Illawarra 20, Soden. Long ball out of dummy half, it was a high one for Taylor to take, now fairly. He's threatening offloads every time he's had the ball in this match so far, David Fairley. One of his offloads led to the Dallas try as Taylor. Butner on the outside as Taylor. Mike and Wren straight. They're 10 metres out from the Steelers' line. Last tackle. Well, they'll try the high ball, as Paul Horton has suggested. It came from Caruana. There's plenty of Steelers there. It's come loose straight into the hands of Dallas, and it's his second try. He will get no easier four-pointer than that goal of 1996. Taylor has his easiest kick of the day. One would expect him to get this one. Only 15 out and 10 metres off centre. He is the leading goal kicker. Quite incredible. We're up to round 13. He's missed only four kicks this season. What an acquisition for any club. And there's another two for Jason Taylor. He's kicked it just about out of the ground. 18 points to six here at North Sydney Oval. I don't think Danny Williams could believe it. They threw it straight, straight to him as now Taylor got the pass for Eichen. 25 metres out for the Steelers' line. Seven minutes away from half-time, and it's with Josh Stewart, who offloads a great pass for Wilson. And Wilson, five metres out from the Steelers' line. The cover had to come from all parts. Caruana a dummy half. They're wide and they're deep. Taylor fires it along for Butner, who straightens the attack for the try line and wrapped up in the tackle there of Pincinelli. They're right on the Steelers' goal line. Yet again, that was a loose pass. Roy gets it behind the back. In the end, did pretty well to hang on to it. Ten metres out from the Steelers' line. Last tackle. Taylor switches back to the right side. Caruana for Taylor. Taylor offloads. Now quick hands for Dallas. And Dallas has a hat-trick. The touch judge stands his ground at the in-goal area. The Bears have got their fourth try. It's 22 to 6. They are a very skillful football team in North Sydney. They must do a lot of drills with the football. This is a great try. Beautiful hands from Jason Taylor. Tremendous pass. The catch and pass from there from Billy Moore. And then Brett Dallas gets his hurt. Can't do it. Couldn't do it. With a lazy 20, he gets it. From the sideline, Jason Taylor. This is for four out of four. And an 18-point lead. He drives this one oh. towards the post. It's just off centre, and it's another two for Jason Taylor. I could possibly get that one. 24 to 6, the Bears over the Steelers, and you watch replays like this all day. What price did I get? 5 to 4? The switch from the blind side from Rees for Airy. Dummies inside, then skips out a man with a pass for Pincinelli. The defence has opened it up again, and similar to the first try, Pincinelli has passed to McGregor. Well, North Sydney, we do have reason to criticise because they've opened up so easy, 24 to 10. Yeah, they tuned out. He's as valuable to the Steelers as any player is to any club in the competition. And Rod Wishart has landed that goal, so back to 12 points the difference. 36 points in this first half. We've still got a couple of minutes out from the break. Sydney from this scrum win, Butner. Away there for Florimo, they work a set play and the defence is open. Nigel Roy over the 30. Rodwell comes across in cover. He did it offload with Dallas on his outside. They're on the Steelers' 20. Hall fires across Florimo. Taylor, quick hands there for Billy Moore. Len Eyre was very quickly out of the line to make the tackle. An assist came from Dean Calloway. Soden, he dummied inside to Larson. Mackay is all over the back though of Mark Soden to make the tackle. Now 15 metres out from the Steelers' line. 12 points the lead for North Sydney. It's Taylor. He runs up to the line. Offloads. Standing in the tackle is Florimo, back for Taylor. Taylor now five metres out from the line. And it was Brendan Rees who put an end to that passage for North Sydney as Soden goes from dummy half, gets within a metre of the try line on the last tackle. Away from dummy half, Taylor, shot ball, sets up the try for Ben Eichen, and that's his second. Well, plenty of players adding to their tally today. Ben Eichen's done just that. Right in front, Jason Taylor. Extending his lead over Ivan Cleary in the point scoring stakes and it's daylight third. In front Taylor, there's yet another two to the tally and they've reached 30. I think one of the problems for the Steelers today, Peter, their forwards have gone okay, but their inside halves really, they're not running, are they? I don't think they're offering a great deal at all to the side, Paul. Glen Eyre seems to be fairly content just to go across field and pick up inside runners. That's not opening up too much. And he's not getting a lot of help from Brendan Reeves. 
check of the reserve grade score today. Ended up an 18-all draw. North Sydney coming from well behind in that match. In fact, had a chance to win it. The conversion attempt was wide five minutes from full time. Last tackle here for the Bears. They're well in control in this one. Even though they're not quite playing their best, Taylor, spiralling kick has found the sideline on the 20. Wishart made no attempt to catch that ball. And now it's Riolo into the line. The defence again is across in cover. Butner and a terrible play of dummy half. Well, Wishart will say it's off his feet. But he made a real mess out of dummy half when he was looking to, to pick up and run all in one motion. It's the second strike from Riolo that's got him. That's in the grand final, one of the worst ever's. And North Sydney, Taylor, Butner, then Florimo. A step off the right and offload, and Caruana is away. Pincinelli in cover. He misses, and Caruana scores straight from a scrum. Great play from the Bears. They now reach 34 points. Very strong play, Greg Florimo. 21 metres out. Six metres in from touch, taking plenty of time with a kick. Taylor, this one, swings back, he cannot miss. Jason Taylor is perfect. 36 points to 12, will take a break. Referee really the kicker of the football, Caruana was taken out. Quick restart from the Bears, they've got numbers, but it was a bad pass. Ben Eichen cut out pass to Promo, he's to Dallas. They've covered up, only just. There's now North Sydney. They should score here. They're right on the Steelers' goal line and they almost get over right there and then. Oaten takes the closest of looks and says, no try, play the ball. Roy is a dummy half. Quick hands are needed. Roy with a stutter from dummy half. Taylor, then he fires the pass. Wilson, quick hands for Butner. Butner sets sail for the try line. Offloads and the Bears have another one. And Ben Eichen back on the field. A hat-trick yet again for one of the Bears. Well, pretty to watch. Michael Butner did marvellously well. well. This is an easy one again. It's becoming a carve-up. 50 is not beyond the Bears today. Seven from seven, Jason Taylor. Three tries to Ben Eichen. Three to Brent Dallas. Bears with Stewart. He's been as good as any of the North Sydney forwards coming off the bench today. There's good defence from the Steelers. It came from John Cross. But all too late as far as the Steelers drive is concerned. Caruana takes off from dummy half. Went into a loose arm of Brett Rodwell and Callaway made the tackle on halfway. Williams away for Fairley. Big Fen away from Doherty. That was a real don't argue from David Fairley. Last play here for the Bears. Taylor. He tries the chip over the top. I thought the inside man was offside. Not so Butner. Great kick up from Michael Butner. Now gets there for the try. That's incredible. The Bears are smoking back. Are they what? Michael Butner's happening then. The Bears have really carving up this little Warriors side. Muddy day, but they just haven't performed today. The Bears have just absolutely flogged them. Taylor. No need to ask about the result from that range. An incredible kicker of the football. Gary Larson gets a rest five minutes early. Last chance for points. It's been a long while since their second try. Timmons away for McGregor. Gets on the outside of Eichen and McGregor. Well, I tell you what, there's some great players in the North Sydney side, but McGregor, in a side getting flogged, is just about man of the match. He's been as good as any player on the park, hasn't he? And he... Rob Wishart, 10 in from touch, 19 metres out. Well, we haven't had a goal kick miss today. 48 points to 18. The perfect record from Taylor. Likewise, Wishart, three from three. A bit of disappointment, the scoreline for Illawarra after such a high. Some were saying one of their finest victories in the history of the club last week, 14-6 over Brisbane. Well, it's a different story this week. North Sydney are on the march yet again. 48 points to 18.